Now this feature has been added to Reaper 7.46, so make sure you're updated to get this functionality. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to create tempo change curves in Reaper, which is basically tempo changes that change over time using different curves to make them sound smoother. So for project setup here, let's see what it sounds like now. So what I want to do is slow it down in our pre-chorus and speed it back up on the last chorus. But before we put in our tempo changes, we need to change the project time base. In the newer versions of Reaper, we can now do it on the transport. Go down here and right click, and we can change the project time base right in here. I have it set to time. This is usually the default, but for this, we want to choose beats, auto stretch at tempo changes, which is going to create stretch markers on our audio to go with our tempo changes. So I'm going to start with the pre-chorus, put my cursor right here. Then I'm going to type shift C, which will add a tempo change right here. Right now it's 175 beats per minute, but let's slow it down to 160 as I want to make it pretty dramatic. And notice that time stretches our audio on all the tracks at this point. Then I'm going to go to the chorus and bring the tempo back up. Shift C. And the normal tempo is 175, but let's make it more dramatic and go to 180. So let's hear what that sounds like. And again, that's pretty dramatic. And to see the tempo changes on an envelope, we can go up here to the view menu and view the master track. And we can see right here, this envelope or curve shows us the tempo change. Here's 175, jumps down to 160 and back up to 180. And it changes it instantly. In other words, using a square wave. So if we choose this point and right click it, we could change that shape over here. In the older versions of Reaper, we could only choose square, which is what we're hearing now, or linear. And with linear, it's going to go very slowly from this tempo to this one, sounding like this. And while that does sound smoother, it's not really what I want. I want it to be more dramatic and jump up quicker at the end. And luckily, with the newer versions of Reaper, we get newer shapes to choose from. So I'm going to choose this point again, right click it, set shape for selected points, and instead of using linear or square, we could use these newer shapes. Slow so start and end, which creates more of an S curve. That's still not quite what I want. Choose the point and right click again. And this time let's choose fast start, which changes it quicker in the beginning and slower at the end. Still not really what I want. Let's try another shape. Let's try fast end, which starts off slower and changes quicker at the end.
So that's more of what I want. But to make the transition smoother, let's put a tempo change right here as well. Type Shift C, keep the tempo here, but right click this point and change the shape. And let's choose Fast End, which will take a bit longer before the tempo change and then go smoothly into our pre chorus. I like that better. And this one, there's one more shape we could choose, which is my favorite, known as Bezier. Now we don't have to choose it right here. Instead, we could just hold on the modifier Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just grab the section between our points. And then we get a custom curve based on what we want. We can make the start as fast as we want, or make the end as fast as we want or anything in between. Make it linear. But for this, I want it to be much faster at the end, something like this. And we can adjust this one the same way. Instead of this way, faster at the end, something like this. Which will go a bit smoother into the slowdown, stay there for a while, and then quickly jump back up to the end tempo, like this. Something like that is what I'm looking for. And with these new shapes, it makes it a lot easier as we can customize it by holding down the modifier and readjusting our curves exactly how we want. Maybe more this way or more this way. Readjust this one and this one to be exactly what we want. So as you can see, it's a lot more flexible having these different curves for our tempo changes, making it much easier to get exactly what we want. So that's pretty much it. That's tempo change curves in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Sugar in the shadows, sweet and low. Oh!